hey so you're back and i'm happy and i'm hoping that you're going to go and find this one this is foxy by pauline cosmetics incidentally if you're looking over there saying wow does everything come like this um this is how you give product to makeup artists i want to call them pollination the pollination experts pollinators the yes. pollinators the influencers beauty influencers um some of our key customers you know those diehards who've been with us for a very long wow. time i mean I, i'm loving the packaging Thank because you. the first time i got product from you it did not look like this we upgrade it's been a Some, year. Somebody been has a grown. Year. <laughs> but I want to touch on three things. I want to touch on your move with Adele. I want to touch on, I think I saw something about Miss Tourism. Mm -hmm. And I also want to talk about what it takes to create this, mm -hmm. a liquid foundation. Let's start. You and Adele connected where? Or did she just tall, lanky, come and find you? <laughs> we actually, I, I can't remember how we started this conversation, but we've been chatting here and there for about two years. Mm -hmm. So early last year, she had mentioned she wanted to do something. And then, you know, the conversations kind of morph into she wanted to create a capsule collection mm -hmm. um, in honor of her late of mom. mom. Yes. So she already loved the, the dark purple lipstick. Mm -hmm. It was her signature look. Yes. Um, so she said, let's do it. Let's let's go with the with the wow. purple shade. So we literally just repackaged the same product mm -hmm. um, and called it Limitless. Nice. Yeah. So that was beginning of the year. Oh, wow. Yeah. And how did that do? I know she's excited. Every time I meet her, I'm like, how are you doing? She's like, oh, I did not know it was so much. <laughs> yeah, so there was that. Because there's, there's one thing to have a product, and then there's all these other things that go into it. And small things is just the, how does the packaging look? Because I remember doing that back and forth with her. Mm -hmm. And actually, we drew it out. And it was she, she knew what she wanted, but also putting that together into, it's a small piece of box. It is. There's it's not so much you can do in there. Put in there. Yes. Yeah, so fine tuning and I, I have a really good design uh, person, Fred, who literally, I was telling him all these ideas and he's like, I got it. <laughs> Stop. Stop. I got it. Yeah. But then we had to go through different versions of the rendition really? and then onboard it. And then, of course, now we're selling um, a lipstick as a different lipstick and, yes. and messaging and communicating yes. that, which luckily having Adele who's in media yes. helps because she knows how to talk about, about her it. product. Yes. And then Miss Tourism came calling. Wow. Yeah. So I remember that's when I was like. <laughs> Where's her liquid foundation? What is she doing? Mm -hmm. She's supposed to be busy doing something else. And, and it, was, it was actually a lot trying to juggle. I'm trying to launch because, again, I don't want to do Miss Tourism without having this product. Of course not. But then I don't want to say no because this is an opportunity. I've, I'd actually always wanted to do Miss Tourism. Something we talked about. Yes, we yes. talked about it. You wrote it down last year. Mm. Um, but then it's not like I went out. Look, I'd been looking. Mm -hmm. And this is what I was talking about beginning of the year. This year brought some new opportunities that maybe I have been getting prepared to be in this moment. Mm -hmm. I don't think if Mr. Tourism called last year or 2016, you would have been ready. I would not have been ready. Okay. So they called in March, which I was so excited. And uh, I went over, she, so Ms. Kamunga is the owner of Vera Beauty College, mm -hmm. went over to see her, lovely woman, amazing passion, energy. We connected mm -hmm. at Passion for Africa. Um, and she was like, yeah, we want you to come on board and do our, be oh, the official awesome. makeup sponsor of Miss Tourism, mm -hmm. of which again, I was excited, but then I was having all these other things happening. So we didn't really touch base until towards the end. And that's when I was like, oh, there's so much to do. Yes, 47, 47 girls, 47 yeah. looks, and, 47. And, yeah. and for them, they've done this so many times. Yes. It was like cavalier for it. it was like yeah the girls yeah, then will then just come, come and you and will like, do <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. you know yes all those things but you know it's like I, I needed like a blueprint they go like this and then they did but it, it turned out to be an amazing experience one just having the girls bonding with the girls I spent a lot of time with them mm -hmm. I found so this woman has so much passion to the point where I just was spending s way more time than I needed to be to, okay. to be doing and got asked to be one of the judges. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that was amazing. That was an amazing experience. But still, I kept asking you, where's the liquid foundation? What was going on? I, okay, so is it really a labor, a labor event? 
this was because I had been starting to work on this foundation a while ago. I, it's, it, you know, it starts with a conversation mm -hmm. and then you start thinking about what you want to do with it, but then you put it aside because you have other things. Because remember, I'm also running business day to day. Of course. Um, so I completely underestimated this because I felt, you know, I've been making products. This cannot be that much harder. Mm -hmm. But I went And I've been wearing makeup. Yeah. But, um, and remember also, I had a very bold, uh, audacious, because remember I wanted to be bold this year. Mm. I had, um, I wanted to do a really wide range. Yeah. How wide? I wanted 15 to 20 shades. So just the process of, first of all, finding the right shade. Because remember, know. lipstick, you can pick red, blue, blah, blah, blah. Liquid foundations, uh -huh. it's like the same shades of brown. <laughs> so, and it's, it's like when you get a color spectrum, like when you're trying and it says, which yellow do you want? And then the, the, the painter brings a chart. Ten yellows. And it's a ten yellows. Yes. So there's that. Um, from selecting the colors... Uh, narrowing down on the on the formula which I was working on beginning of the year when mm -hmm. I'd gone to the uh, factory um, and everything else in between trying to figure out the packaging I, I remember I sent yes, you yeah, yeah, no, I was like yeah and she sent me some shots of the yellow background I was like don't you don't dare. do that don't do uh, that but I was like I, I know I know I just want you to look at the packaging and tell me what you think mm -hmm. um, so to now finally making the product, which then that was the process. I completely underestimated that process of just selecting color and fi and landing on, you know, we narrowed down to three formulas. Then mm -hmm. it was like, okay, let's make all the shades in these three formulas. We had 27 colors, which we then narrowed down to 19 shades, which then I, I had my, my, my team help me try to figure out what colors. It was, it was a lot. Okay, I, I, I got, I'm still stuck at 27 down to 19. Yes. And then eventually, how many do we have in store? Seven. Are you kidding <laughs> me? Seven. Because I didn't want to, again, yes, I was being bold and going for it, but I didn't want to launch 15 shades and then maybe you have two of the same colors, that, you know, that work together. Yes. So I wanted to launch the seven shades and then use that to build up on, the on more when yes. people start telling you yeah i've tried it but yes. i don't i don't have mine i don't have my color so yes. i really want um anybody who's getting these foundations to give us feedback mm -hmm. if there's a color that you you know that if you don't find your color mm. to let us know so that we can be able to create those shades but also something else i was going to say and because of course my face was done eh, just for this mm. because i don't i have problems i don't do face beats um I, I realized that when I looked at myself, I said, oh, I still look like me. Mm. Because sometimes, sadly, when I buy something from an international line, I keep ha getting that white undertone. Mm. And then it's like a tight, and I'm like, no, no. I can't, I don't want, and I don't yeah. want. Yeah, yes. and so actually the, the whole reason, the whole thing that sparked this idea of starting Pauline Cosmetics mm -hmm. was from the frustration of getting the right shade for S us for us so remember i was living working studying abroad and a typical scenario is you walk into a store and there's 10 shades a brand has like the 10 mm. shades mm -hmm. and it's the last two shades that's meant for us, us. and that's they are no all shades of black. us all shades of black Apparently. we have two um the lighter shade for the lighter skin tone and then one shade for the rest of us yes so so if you're a little dark a yeah. little caramelish a little chocolatey. There's work. nothing for us, There's apparently. For us. So I, I wanted to make makeup for us, colors for our color, mm. for from the dark, rich I like that, tones. colors for our color. Yes. Yes. Dark, rich tones of South Sudanese women to the warm caramel shades of Eritrean, Somali, yes. Ethiopian women. Yes. Uh, and we all feel included. That was very key. And then the other thing was to have the right foundation foundation because mm -hmm. practically foundation is the base of your product it is so it has to sit right because everything else is it can't be top. streaky and yes. weird and when you wear it it, 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 it uh, runs yes um then it has to last long so because you know me mm. and you we're busy yes. we don't have time well, to, to, keep to, to keep patching our faces yeah. yes so making all that making sure that all fit in the product that description um, and also the, the people who are making these products don't know people like us no. so I'm literally teaching them I'm like, <laughs> yes, yes, I hadn't thought about that. Yeah. Just, just a moment here, because now I want to ask her to do something. But if you have 
a gathering of entrepreneurs, uh, people going into business. I think you need to invite Nelly to talk because she has told me about some of the things. Just finding the right bottle to put the product in is a science and a mission on its own. Mm -hmm. Sorting out the paperwork from Kebs. Oh my God. <laughs> It's, I think it's such an important conversation to have. Mm. I don't want you sitting here saying, Achi, she's saying what? It is important mm. that people also understand, like, I want a jet, but you can't just have it. I mean, it's there, it can be, but, but what does it take? Yeah, yes. exactly. You know? Mm -hmm. so, so finally, nine. So finally, seven. seven. Then we go into production. In between... The, machi the machine breaks. So you know how, you know, we do mass production, right? Um, so you can, it's, it's like, a tip, you know, you'd say, for example, you're using a big sufuria to make ugali. To mix. So if you're going to use this much unga, you're going to have to make all this ugali yes, with this without flour. Unga without and then unga. with this amount of water and yes. yes. So the, the small pot mm -hmm. breaks. Now you have to transfer to the big pot. But so because of the size of the pot, you need more, more ingredi ingredients. Ah. Yeah. So I remember uh, the manufacturer saying, yeah, we need to increase the volumes and the quantity, which meant I needed to pay more, literally. <gasps> so at that I, I think I, I, was, uh, I was like, OK, I am almost done. So that happened because then. OK, so here's a question. You never thought, no, enough. And I was done because remember that whole process of sorting and yes. trying to tell them and no. Now we are at because for them they also don't understand how somebody can be this dark, like that dark. Like no, I want it. it's darker than darker, that. darker. Like, no, you can't have it that dark. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, yes. we are dark like that. We're dark like that. Yeah. Yes. To now the machine is breaking. So because remember doing the packaging, it's more time. I was supposed to launch this thing in June, July. By June, July is when the machine was breaking. <gasps> yes. So it means we have to wait for the, for the packaging to be made again, which takes another 30 to 40 days to make the packaging. And then, of course, I need to cough up more money to continue production. But that's what I'm asking you. At what point do you say it's not worth it? I'm not doing this. It's never occurred to you? Let's shelve <laughs> this. It is, it's the frustration of it. It's the, I'm so fed up with this. It's the, you, you, you just <laughs> you become an angry human being. Uh, <laughs> I, I remember, I think that point my staff had had enough with me because you know, all that stress, you carry it mm -hmm. everywhere. Um, but it had to continue because I told all of you guys I'm bringing yeah, foundations. You're bringing, yes, actually you yeah. have. But you know, now that you've told me, you're coming to me, Caroline, I cannot do this thing. Imagine, besides, like, when can I buy you a drink? <laughs> for seco? For yeah, two? but it had to happen. So that continued. And then towards the end, we're ready to ship the product. And so we're sending it to the agent. It has to be shipped. And they're like, we're not shipping your product. It's liquid. And the Kenyan, so there's apparently new regulations. You cannot ship, um, especially liquid products. They're considered dangerous substances so perfumes and liquid foundations liquid products they have to have a special there's a report it's called msds report i had never heard of this thing so get this <laughs> trick to talk about the journey of making something you know you we go to the shop and you're like ta-da it is here yep but she doesn't have my color yeah we don't even know the journey mm -hmm. so i'm like i'm an msds but what the ahu, ahu. Ahu? And then, then the factory is telling me, oh, no, we don't give you that. You have to get a third party. I'm in Kenya. What third party am I supposed to find? Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, I was supposed to get a third party who's supposed to do an independent inspection of the product and create and generate this document so that my products can... can. That took another month. In between, Caroline, China decides to go on a seven-day holiday. <laughs> it was like... Mm. Yeah. <laughs> but it came. It came and eventually. It's here. it's here. It's in stores. It's amazing. It looks amazing. So it was worth it was a trip. It was a trip. But at the same time, I think it's a learning curve and when whenever you're doing anything new really, there's always the the you know, uh the idea that I'm just gonna do this thing. 
and you, you know you immerse yourself into it and you get to learn a lot of things but I, I feel like this whole process now you're is scary because there's something I wanted to ask you okay. but now I've just ask I, I can't Okay, okay, now I'm, I'm recovering. I'm, I'm halfway recovered. So halfway? Halfway recovered. I'm still traumatized. But more than anything, it's just beautiful to see this. It's whenever there's something I, this, I want to Could you subscribe and come back? Because this is a big ask. I have a big ask. I have a very big ask. Okay, now I'm scared. No, I have a very... <laughs> I have scared. a very big ask. All right. And it's literally go big or go home. You don't want a jet, do you? Because you talked about it. No, the jet we will get eventually. Okay. But we have to do. Subscribe. Come back. Come back. I was gonna. I'm gonna ask her for something, and then she's going to walk out on me, and it's okay. No, I'm scared. You can't be scared. Not after this. No.